Hello everyone, uh, I'm Dr. Rafa, I'm prosthodontist and today I want to teach you how to design a bite splint. Uh, first, we choose the client, the mole splint, technician, myself, and then we are going to choose uh, the jaw that is going to Design for a splint. Uh, I designed the splint on the upper jaw, so I choose the upper jaw and I'm choosing bite a splint and I'm going to 3D print it. Okay, minimal thickness 0.3, uh, I think 0.6 is better because lots of uh, resin materials are not uh, having good print quality in a small thickness. Look at angle, we will talk about this one. Preferred thickness uh, one millimeter, occlusal thickness 2.5. Good, a smooth thing, three millimeter. We will talk about this uh, in the middle of the video. Okay. And I'm going to design it, not this one. I clear it, okay. And I have digital impression. Now I'm ready to go into design. It's better to have a clean scan uh, in case that you made uh, intraoral scan. It's better to uh, remove the saliva from the top of the teeth. So uh, with compressed air, you can clean the teeth and in case that it has some calculus or maybe food remaining on the two surfaces is better to tooth get polished and in case that it needed the scaling before the scanning so after we have a good and clean scan we can go ahead and take a good impression then we are going to import our scans. This one is upper, this one is lower. Okay. As it said, it should be something like this. As you can see in 3.1, we have better color rendering. I, I really appreciate this kind of color rendering. I, push close holes maybe in the scan we have some small holes so it's better to close them and I oh sorry you can do this or okay I prefer not to touch uh, don't modify scan choose this one and in this case i prefer the direction that is uh, less of material is get blocked out and what do i mean from the less material get blocked out you can see this pink parts are getting blocked out with the wax or virtual wax and in this case we have space between this part of the tooth and the blue cut material so let's see what's happening and uh, as I told you before I will talk about offset angle allow undercut smoothing and other things now let's have a cut view As you can see, there is uh, a gap here because uh